Hello everyone, myself Dr. Shandhi Aswal. Today I will guide you through the steps involved in setting up, preparing and opening balance sheet using the tally prime, so which is an essential process for maintaining our accurate financial records. So uh, before we understand the practical part, let's have an idea about the opening balance sheet. So opening balance sheet is a financial statement that shows the company financial position at the start of a new account period. It can be the financial year, it can be the calendar year. So it basically lists all the assets and liability and equity balance and it provides the snapshot of what the business own and owes at the beginning. So this is a particularly important for the new business, those who are uh, transitioning from manual to computerized accounting system. Now these are the steps we follow for preparing our opening balance sheet in Tally Prime. First, we need to set up the company. Then we have to set all the accounting features as needed. And then we have to create all the ledger like the asset liability and equity with the opening balances. And at the last, we have to ensure and we have to mention that the respective uh, assets should match with the liabilities and equity. Then uh, once we done all these steps, the next is we sometime we have maintained the inventory information. So we have to create a stock group and stock items in Tally Prime. So we are required to mention the opening quantity and rates for each inventory item. After this, it is a very important to uh, verify that the balance sheet is correctly uh, balanced. If there are discrepancy, in that case, we need to adjust the ledger balances. So this is again important to avoid any errors in financial reporting. So uh, further, I would like to show you the brief demonstration by discussing the process of creating opening balance sheet with the help of the given information. Let us say this is the question given. So here we are required uh, give information relating to the company details and uh, it is this two line this is for the purpose of the uh, passing the voucher entry and uh, we have given the balance sheet stock detail we have given the list of debtors and creditor. So today we will learn how do we create a opening balance sheet in Delhi Prime. First of all the first step as I have already told you is to create a company so we will create a company first. So for the company creation I will go to the this option then the create. So here I am creating a company with my name. So this balance sheet now this I am taking it same. So let us say this address will be the Sheikh Sarai and state you can select Delhi and pin code let me take it this. If you have phone number, you can write it here. So this is the phone number. I am ignoring this part also. If you have a mail ID, so you can mention the mail ID also like abdc at gmail.com. Then this information you can skip. Once you enter, then uh, this window will appear. So it is used for the uh, setting all the features. So here I am not recording the GST transaction. So I am just selecting it no. All other information uh, like TDS is also I am not uh, concentrating on. So I am skipping all the information and I will save this information. So once I have created a company you can see here it is now visible here. Now the second is after creating a company the first we will create a stock information with the help of this given information. So here in this the units that we have given that is the faces and the groups there are two groups that is a shirt and the trouser and here also we have given different items of the groups. So let us create a stock first. So for creating a stock first we need to set the unit first so for that you have to go to the get create option and here you will find the unit option under the inventory master. So here I am creating a pieces this is given in the question itself and I will save this information after this I need to create a stock group so there are two stock groups so that is the shirt this is a primary one another is trouser this is again the primary one once we set the stock group the next is we create a stock item so you can create uh, one by one or you can go for the multiple ones so I am just selecting a multi one one so we'll go to the charts of accounts and here stock item right hand side you will find multi master and then multi create. So here you can create all the stock item on a single window. So first is 
as per this given information this is your cotton shirt so here cotton shirts so this has to be created under this and quantity that is the unit is pieces quantity is given to us that is 100 and 650 is the rate so 100 650 then the second item that we have given that is the woolen shirt so here we need to write woolen shirt and this has to be created under the shirt and pieces and the quantity is given which is 125 and 1000 then the third item that we have that is the terracotta shirt and again this has to be under the shirt this is pieces and the quantity is given 108 and 600 then we have given the trouser information also so as per this information it's given denim trouser so here i'm writing denim trouser so this is under the trouser basis quantity given for the denim trouser is one four hundred and one five seven five is the price so four hundred one five seven five is the price then the next item that we have given that is the woolen trouser so again we need to choose woolen trouser here then pieces and the quantity is given to us is 100 and 2200 is the price so 100 2200 then the last information that is the cotton trouser so here i need to select the cotton trouser then again trouser pieces and quantity is given 500 and 1250 is the price so in this way i have created my stock information i will save this information now once we save the uh, stock information the second thing is we will create ledgers of all the debtors and creditor so here we have given the list of debtors and creditor so for this we will go to the charts of accounts and we will go to the ledgers and on the right hand side we will select multi master multi create so here i will write all the debtors and the creditors name so the first is puja so puja is my sundry debtor so you need to select sundry debtors here and the amount is 45000 after this you can skip this information then the second we have that is the prerna so you have to write prerna here sundry debtors and the amount is 89000 then next is pavan so pavan is my sundry data and the amount if we check it's 52000 then next we have after the pavan that is the pankaj again sundry debtors amount is 30000 then last that is the prakash sundry debtors and the amount is 46000 in the same way here only we can create the list of creditor also so the first information of the creditor is shalu so here you need to write shalu and you have to mention the sundry creditors and the amount is given which is 25000 so by automatically it will be show the credit balance then we have a, another creditor that is sangeeta again sundry creditors then uh, the amount is 30500 baki rest information you can skip then next is sapna sundry creditors and the balance is given that is 67,500 so here we need to select 67,500 then next is after Sapna Sandeep so Sandeep again Sandeep creditors and the balance is given for the Sandeep creditors Sandeep is 42,600 we will skip this information then next is Siddharth 
so again this is sundry creditors only and the balance is 59,000 so here I'll write 59,000 we will save this information now if you want to check whether you have correctly entered all the debtors and creditor information you can check in the balance sheet right so here this is the uh, creditor and if you click on it you will see the stock information and the data information will be reflected here now next is we will create the ledgers of the liability and the asset side right so for this we'll go to the charts of account option then ledger again multi master multi create so the first information on the liability side is capital so here we will write capital so capital under should be the capital and the amount is 18 lakh then the second item that we have given that is the reserve which is 5 lakhs so reserve should be under the reserve and surplus and here 5 lakh then the next item we have profit and loss account since profit and loss account is already there we will not going to make it we will alter it later on the next is secured loan so secured loan which is under secured loan and the amount is 5 lakh then after the secured loan we have debenture which is 10 lakh again it has to be under secured loan then after the debenture we have given loan from promoters so this can be your loan liability and the amount given to us is 5 lakh then after loan from promoters we have provision for tax which is under the provision and the amount that the balance that we have given which is equals to 250000 now after the provision for tax we have given bills payable so here pp that should be under the current liabilities and the amount is 1 lakh then we have creditors we have already created we are not supposed to create it again then we have a salaries and rent outstanding so first salary outstanding this should be under the current liabilities and the amount is 35,000 then rent outstanding current liabilities and the amount is 60,000 so I have completed the liability side in the same way I will start with the asset so first is land and building so on the same window I am creating land and building <coughs> that will be your fixed asset and the amount is 13 lakh then after the land and building we have planted machinery 5 lakh again this has to be fixed asset so this is 5 lakh then we have given furniture fixed asset and the amount is given to us which is 3 lakh then we have investment 80,000 this is again the under the head investment so 80,000 here now after this we have stock we have already created so we are not supposed to create it again same way debtor is also not supposed to create then we have bill receivable 50,000 so BR this should be under the current assets 50,000 then after this we have Punjab National Bank and SBI Bank so PNB bank under the bank account and the amount is for the PNB 8 lakh and for the SPI amount is 2 lakh 20 thousand okay we need to select bank account first then 2 lakh 20 thousand then after the bank account we have given the cash cash account we also not supposed to create we will alter it then we have a last that is a prepaid insurance so here that is prepaid insurance this has to be under the current asset 
and the amount is 7800 now i have taken up all the items of the asset and liability and i am saving it now there is only one thing is left that we need to alter the cash and profit or loss account how do we alter it we'll go to the alter option we'll go to the ledger we will select cash account and here we will write the opening balance of the cash account so opening balance of the cash is given to us which is 20,000 so here we'll write 20,000 we'll save this information then the another account that we need to alter that is the profit and loss account which is 3 lakh then we'll select profit and loss account and the balance is 3 lakh I will save this information once you incorporate all the information then you have to check whether your balance sheet is tally or not so you can visible you can see by pressing the alt f1 so you will see here your balance sheet is tally with the 5269600 on both the sides and there is no opening balance right so in this way we can create a opening balance sheet before passing the voucher entry thank you everyone